Just a short video showing how I make some of my tips for my wire burner, replaceable tip burner. These are some of the tools that I use. The Nichrome wire there, I got it from Amazon. I have 20 gauge and 22 gauge. 20 is a little bit thicker than the 22. Again, I use a, several hammers and some pliers and cutters and something to pound on if you if you don't have a vise or I have a vise. These are some of the tips that I made this morning, yesterday morning, while I was thinking about uh, making this video. Here's some still shots of the tips. <coughs> the ones on the right were made from nichrome wire. Um, these ones are made from springs. And uh, two on the right and the one on the left is made from nichrome wire from a hair blower, the heating element and a hair dryer, I guess it is. There it is, there are pieces of it. <coughs> it's quite fine, it works very well for fine small tips. The spring wire was brittle. It broke when I tried to bend it over short, so I had to heat it up before I made this. Here I am making a one of the standard tips that I like to use. That's the 22 gauge wire that I'm using, the smaller one there. Try and find about the center, doesn't really matter. You can trim the ends off if you don't hit the center. Bend it over as tight as I can. I like to get the ends right squashed together if I can. Just makes for a better tip. But at this point, this, uh, this nib could be used for as a writing tip, it's got a very small end. Could be made for just making dots in wood for texturing. Or you could use it for anything you want. It's uh, fairly versatile. A lot of this, the kits come with this shaped tip. But in this instance, I, oh, here I am, I'm hammering the end flat so that the material comes round and hammer it flat. I hammer both sides and show that. Then I file the edges to try and get a sort of a knife edge that will allow me to do a very fine line when I turn it over on its side. I'm just going to stick it in the pan here so I can bend it and polish it. That's that burn master uh, changeable tip pens to come with the burn master. Then I just polish it up with some. I think this might be 400 grits on paper. And I try at this point to sort of make it roundish shape so it, uh, it doesn't have the edges that it did in. I bent it too with the hair flyers. I bend them to about 20 degrees or something like that. So it allows me a little bit of access to the end. Here's just some samples of what it will do. Get some fine lines and then I do a little bit of shading at the underside of it. And uh, like I say, it's pretty easy to make, and you can make it from just about any material you have. It may not last as long as some of the other materials, and that kind of seems to be the answer. Thanks for watching.